students today we are going to study about e-commerce trade cycle so before i start with the trade cycle let us first understand what is e-commerce i have already posted a video on e-commerce also so you can just go and uh, have a look on it so any type of online business which is done using internet or electronic device is considered as e-commerce the full form of e-commerce is electronic commerce okay so now we'll uh, come across how is the trade cycle and what are the different different phases which comes under e-commerce trade cycle so e-commerce trade cycle is a trade cycle in the series of exchange between a customer and a supplier so what are the steps what are the series of exchange what are the phases which comes between the customer as well as supplier that we are going to study in this trade cycle it takes place when a commercial exchange is executed so whenever there is an exchange of commercial or economy then a trade cycle is seen in the concern of e-commerce trade cycle so e-commerce trade cycle is in short a series of exchange between a customer and supplier that takes place whenever a commercial ex exchange of goods or services is being executed okay now we will see what are the phases which comes under the trade cycle so there are total four phases the phase starts from pre-sale then comes execution then comes settlement and uh, at the last is after sales so like that we have total four phases in e-commerce trade cycle now this is the diagram of e-commerce that is trade cycle now you can see that there is EDI that is electronic data interchange. The work of EDI is what to exchange the data appropriately. Okay, from one place to another, any type of exchange of data is done with the help of EDI. Now in this, you can see that the pre-sale is divided into two parts are research and negotiate. So these two are the characteristics of pre-sales. Again, in the execution, you have order and delivery. So these are the two characteristics. In settlements, you have invoice and payment. And in after sales, you have the other characteristics which generally come after the sales. So I'll, uh, I have just introed you with this uh, trade cycle. We will uh, study in detail one by one what is pre-sales now. So the pre-sale consists of two things. That is search and second is negotiate. So whenever you purchase anything online, first thing is what you search for your desired product. Okay. If the product is matching to your desire or to your needs, then and then only you're going to finalize the product. And when you're going to finalize the product, before that, you are going to decide whether the price of the product is affordable to you or not. Based on that, you're going to try to negotiate that price. Okay. So the pre-sale means before purchasing anything or before confirming anything, what we do is to search the particular product and to negotiate with the dealer about it, about the price. So it consists of two steps that is search and negotiate. Customers search for the required website for product to be purchased and in the negotiate step, Customer finds a supplier who offers a good quality of the product at cheaper price and then customer agrees the terms and forwarded by supplier. So the first, you have to remember only two things in pre-sales. First is, first you are going to search that what is your criteria, what is your choice and what type of product you want. Once that is being chosen by you, then you're going to see that this product is in lowest price at which particular site, which supplier is offering you the lowest price. So the customer searches for the required site for the product to be purchased as well as what happens in the negotiate, you search the cheapest price. So this is how the pre-sales activity takes the execution once you have been uh, choiced you have searched the product now you have negotiated the product you don't have any issue with it now so definitely you're going to order that product 
okay so in the execution what happens you are going to order the product and customer sends an order for the selected product and after processing the order customer re receives delivery of the product so in the execution what happens firstly he has ordered the product and secondly he is going to get the delivery of the product so this is how your execution phase is going to play an intense role that is customer sends an order for the selected product and after processing the order he is going to get the delivery of that product after that comes the settlement phase now in the settlement phase it consists of invoice and payment yeah once you have uh, you have got the product definitely you have to do some payment for it okay so the bill will be generated for you and you are going to pay the bill to them so what comes under settlement invoice and payment are the two things which are major role uh, which are the characteristics of settlements so invoice means customer will receive a bill for his purchased product and after confirmation of the received product customer is going to pay for the same so this is how the settlement is going to work you will get the, the bill from the supplier and you are going to pay the bill to the supplier back in the return of the product now comes after sale so this is the last phase in case if the product which you whichever you have got that product is not up to the mark which you had some which you expected okay uh, or it is damaged okay so in case you can return it okay each and every product has some warranty it has some guarantee so all these things the maintenance cost all these things are coming after the sale so the after the sale consists of warranty after sale services maintenances so all these things comes which a dealer has to give to his customer to maintain the relationship with the customer so after sale services means customer will do complaints about the performance of the product and get maintenance services from the supplier so this is what is after sales in which the the main purpose is what how to maintain the relationship with the customer how to provide them the maintenance for the goods they have purchased from your uh, from your shop and how to keep the balance with the customer as well as your own company so this was all about uh, e-commerce trade cycle please subscribe thank you for watching